okay there's some people who think that um you know atlantis doesn't work anymore it probably doesn't work as well as it used to do but you've got to think about not just black grass you've got to think about the whole range of weeds so some people might replace a follow-up spray with some more flufenicet so in this plot it's had a pre-em of liberator at 0.6 and then we followed it up early autumn with a bit more flufenicet so if we look at the weeds annual meadow grass has been well controlled we come to the sensitive black grass and there's a couple of plants just lifting there but pretty good a very good job on the rat's tail fescue very good job on the rye grass and then we get to the bromes and it's thin the brome out but there's still some meadow brome there the same with the rye brome it's thinned it out but there's a, there's, there is some left a better job on the sterile brome and it's done a very good job on the oats. This is the same scenario as the last plot, but this is Liberator Pre-M, same as the last, but instead of topping up with more Flufenicet, this has got some contact material. So this is early autumn, Atlantis OD with Pendomethylene. So we look through the weeds, there's no annual meadowgrass there, it's done a really good job. We look at the black grass there, and it's definitely done a better job on the sensitive black grass. It's done a very good job on the rat's tail fescue and on the rye grass as we'd expect this is where the differences pull out it is worked much better on the meadow brome compared with the, just the straight flufenicet follow-up and that's the same message with the rye brome and with the sterile brome and like the last plot it's done a really good job on the tame oats